Good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. Um, coming to you today from the Data Center. Uh, just real quick, a, a UPS update. There's a, a new electrical panel they put in to uh, bring electrical power to uh, these racks back here. Whole row of racks and this, this rack right here. Um, gonna kind of split the power up. Half will come from the generator and half will come from this UPS. And uh, electricity just put this in to finish it up Friday. So Thursday they had hung the box, just an empty box, and they hadn't even put the conduit in. So now they've got the breakers and uh, conduit. I don't know if it's wired up yet or not, but uh, it probably is. So that's our UPS update. And now today, what am I going to do today? Well, one of the things we're going to do, since we're going to have the two different power strips APUs, whatever you want to call them, um, and the racks powered by two different circuits. We need to make sure everything's got dual power. So you can see this switch here only has one single power cord. Can you see that? Yeah. Where is it? There it is. It's only got one single power cord because this this switch was supposed to go away. Um, so I am replacing it with this switch, which has dual power. And I've got them plugged into two separate power strips. Them hit. Um, and what I'm going to do, going to attempt to do, is here's the old switch here. There's the fiber runs that go back to the uh, distribution switch over there. And I've already put the uh, new switch in. You saw that it's powered up. I've already pre-configured it. And I just got it, got it connected by a fiber uplink. So my plan is to start a constant ping to one of these posts that's connected over here. And I'm going to move these fiber uplinks down to this switch. And I've already got this port, these ports pre-configured as, as a lag or a multi, multi-link trunk for you Cisco guys. Um, so I'm just going to pull those out, put them in down there. And if the ping keeps going, I'll probably drop a few things here and there but if the thing keeps going then success I'll move the rest of them I'll move these down here to this switch and then I'll pull the copper uplink and pull this switch up so uh, let's see I'm gonna put you on pause because I need both of my hands and I don't have my tripod with me so give me one second and we'll be right back okay try it but the pings wouldn't come back, so I got to do a little troubleshooting here. But this is the basic idea: if you can start a constant split ping. What I did is I just I've left one fiber one plug in up here, one's down here. I just unplug the top one, plug in the bottom one, the new switch. Unplug the old switch, plug in the new switch, and theoretically the pings should start answering, but they didn't. So I need to check my tagging on this uplink and on this uplink. And that will show me volume. So give me a second to check that tagging. Like I said, I need, uh, I need two, two hands to do that. I can't hold my phone. So one minute, be right back. Okay, I think I got it. One of these days, well, I, we've joked about this since I was a, a young and upcoming network admin two jobs ago, um, when I was first getting into extreme switching, um, I had the biggest problem with remembering what was supposed to be tagged where, or untagged. Um, so I'm going to have a t-shirt made up that says, it's the tagging, stupid. So yeah, that's why I wasn't working before. Um, the constant thing earlier, let's see if I can scroll up here. Earlier, you see how that up here. There we go. See how that ping timed out for quite a while. That's because it never came back. It never answered. Um, and the problem was, I was setting this new switch up, 
All I tagged on this upland port was the management VLAN. I didn't tag any of the data VLAN. So, duh. So right now, just turn my phone so you can see. So right now, I don't know if you can see, but right up here, there's no, there's no link lights up here. The link lights are, in fact, down here. So we are connecting to this switch through this copper cable, which is now tagged correctly, um, through here over to the host switcher over here. So now what I'm going to do is uh, move this second uplink cable down here and then start moving these hosts down one by one and uh, should only drop a ping, ping or two when I do that. When I say dropping a ping, if you guys don't know, I'm sure all the veterans know this and, and most of the people have been doing it for a while, but if you're new, just getting into uh, the, the network admin gig or networking in general, the command that's going to be your friend, and it's it's going to be in your toolbox for a long, long time, is ping space minus T, and then the IP address. And what that does, it just keeps the ping going forever until you hit Control C to stop it. So, yeah, once I did that, you can see down here, we there we go. We only dropped two pings when I moved that cable, and uh, everything came back right back up. So what I'm going to do real quick is a double check. I'm going to move that second fiber link down to the new switch. I'm going to make sure I got the good sharing, and if so, then we'll we'll move all the uh, all the hosts over. Be right back, and well, it's going to be instantaneous to you, but it'll be a couple minutes for me. Be right back. Okay, we got the second fiber moved over. So we are now. Uh, basically, this switch is the root switch. It's the one that's connected. See, we got, uh, I don't know if you can see it there or not. I can't tell if you can see it or not. You should, should see two lights blinking over there. Not that one. These two. Um, that's the two shared ports here. Ports, uh, what is that, 51, 52? I actually shared all four ports, so I could, I could move these things over here to these ports, but I like to start from over at the end. And generally we share all four ports because it's just a good habit for us here. Because normally we'll have two ports connecting to one core switch, two ports connecting to the other core switch. So I just, as a matter of course, I set up all four as, as a shared port. Um, still have the fiber up, or the copper uplink here between the two switches. Now, the only thing I have to do is move all these uh, hosts down to this switch. Why such a big switch for only like six hosts? Well, I don't have a shelf and it's the only thing that will fit in the rack. 12 port, I don't have any dual power 12 port switches either. So we've got to, we've got to blow a 48 port switch for like eight, eight, ten hosts. All right, I'm going to start moving those over. I'll be right back. Okay, we got most everything moved. You can see here all these cables are mostly, mostly down here. I got two that are, I had to move back up because they stopped responding to a ping as long as they were on these ports down here. So I'm going to do one real quick check again of the tagging on these two ports versus these two ports. Make sure the tagging is the same. Probably the tagging. Probably screwed it up again. And uh, once I get those moved, then uh, we'll be uh, red to go. Be right back. Okay, so it's one of those things, I guess. I didn't really do anything other than put these cables, there were two ports, port 8 and port 10. Uh, one responded to a ping, so I put them back on the old switch. They responded to a ping. I did some show commands and put them back on the new switch and they just started responding to a ping so I probably didn't wait long enough I waited as long as I did for the other okay so now that uh, everything's moved over to this guy this new switch I can uh, remove this uplink and uh, we're calling good although what I'm gonna do is wait a few hours before I do that um, so the things that are connected to this switch up here are this server up here, and 
that array of equipment down there. Those are real, um, related to our PACS system, P-A-C-S. I don't know if you know what PACS is. I didn't before I came to work here. It's basically our radiology servers. So when you do an X-ray or an MRI, um, it gets stored on disk. Those, those are some of the disks it's stored on. That's some of the servers it uses. And these are the others. Yeah, EMC array. That's that's where all our radiology units are there right now. And those are some of the servers that that are used to access that. So this switcheroo is done. So like I said, I'm gonna let it run for a few hours. If everything is good, I'm gonna come over here and yank this guy, power this down, and uh, we'll we'll call it a day. There's nothing to see there other than me unplugging cables, so I'm not going to pause the video to wait for that. So um, that's all I got for this week, guys. Um, just another one of the things you may have to do as you know with the new skater is uh, migrate switches. And like I said, all I did was I configured this switch to be identical to this one. Same VLANs on the same ports. Um, I configured a couple of uh, uh, uplink ports and forgot to tag them correctly. Um, I configured the uplink ports to connect these two switches. Configured the uplink ports over here. Also configured identically to these uplink ports up here. Uh, I shouldn't call this an uplink, I should call it an inner switch. Inner switch link was untagged. It was tagged it the right way. So, got these guys set up. Um, Move one fiber over, unplug from up here, plug in down there. Switch came up, all looks good. Unplug from up there, plug in down here, move both fibers over, and you're done. So, kind of a the least impactful way to migrate to a new switch, I think. So, well, there you got it. That's that's all we got for this week. If you like what you saw, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell if you want. And um, keep those prayer requests coming. Keep praying for Sam Jones and uh, our brother in Christ. And uh, for all you other brothers in Christ out there and sisters. Sorry, sisters. I mean you too. Um, God bless. And uh, we'll catch you guys all next week.